everybody and welcome to Creativity Time. My name is Tatiana and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia. Every Wednesday at 10 a.m. I like to jump online and have a session which I call Creativity Time. We normally use the stamp set or the product of the week. I haven't got one this week because I am talking all about on stage. On stage is a Stamping Up demonstrator event which I attended in Sydney on the weekend and I had an amazing time, caught up with all these wonderful friends, got to craft with friends, got to talk about crafting and running our Stamping Up businesses and the best part is that we get to take home brand new stamp sets that aren't released to anyone including other demonstrators so we get to order ahead of time before the most of the demonstrator population and that is always so exciting and I did a live yesterday showing all the details of my uh, adventure at on stage good morning Megan thanks for joining me and I didn't get to stamp because I didn't see comments coming up and I asked if people wanted to stamp and nobody was saying anything but then if I when I hopped off it was everyone was saying yes so today we're going to do some stamping with brand new products let's get to the craft desk these are the stamp sets that I received at on stage. We all got this one. It's called Timeless Tulips. Oh, that would be wonderful, Cheryl. Sending us wet snow, and we can give you a bit of warmth if you'd like in return. That would be just like the perfect balance. The Timeless Tulips, we all got that in our gift bags. Well, they're not gift bags, in our goodie bags. And when I saw a demonstrator stamp these the other day, I thought to myself that would be fun to colour. So I know that this isn't a traditional kind of colouring stamp, but I did think that it could go nicely coloured. Grabbing some blocks. Right. Actually... I don't have the punch, so this one does come with a punch. I've ordered that and it's on its way. But since I have to fussy cut anyway, let's use the smaller. Smaller flowers. Okay, now I'm putting the foam map, map, mat. This head cold has got me talking funny. I'm putting the phone a mat down underneath just to give it, because this is photopolymer, there's no squishiness to it, so a bit of foam helps it stamp beautifully. And let's, let's go bright. Let's stamp in Daffodil Delight. So just tap, 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 tap. Deep. Now, here's a trick. This is a distinctive stamp set, so it means it has the tonal variations, and you can see that the ink is quite heavy there. It is a fairly new ink pad of mine, and that is the reason why it is happening like that. The trick is to, I've probably gone that too heavy handed, but I've used the back of my block to move the ink around, not remove, but just to move some of the ink around, around. As the ink pad sits around, it kind of spreads back out. But by doing that, I'm just gonna clean the block and clean the stamp. This is a trick I learned from our DDM, Claire Langford. Now, I've got a clean stamp. I'm gonna re-ink in that lighter area, less ink heavy. And ta-da, beautifully stamped. So that is where the ink pad is too inky. And this is the good ink. Good amount of ink. And that way you're not wasting, because if you use the paper towel trick, this magic happens to me all the time. Well, there we go. Megan, here's the trick. You don't want to remove the ink off your ink pads. Like some people suggest using a paper towel or pressing your ink pad onto some paper. And I feel like that's a bit of a waste of ink because you're wasting. It was very little ink on my block when I 
moved it so we're not losing a lot of ink and I don't know how many we need for this project so I'm just stamping a few two three four we'll keep it in odd numbers and five and that is the trick how to get better stamping results from your distinctive stamps and not waste ink isn't that a cute daisy and as you can see the ink is starting to spread back in and you're not ruining your ink pad and if you're finished one two three four five yep when you're finished you can actually take the ink back and spread it around I don't it kind of just flows naturally back hello Kayla lovely to see you here again just giving that a clean and now we're going to add some extra color there's multiple ways of doing this and I thought it'd be fun to do it with our stamping blends I'm just thinking I'd like to do red with coffee parade but I'm not sure how well that'll blend orange might go well let's see it's a bit of an experimentation Okay, so definitely need my color lifter. This is, oh sorry, should I explain? These are our stamping blends pens. They're alcohol based markers and this one is the color lifter. So it's clear and it can remove any of your mistakes and it's really good for blending. And I've picked a few colors because I haven't done this yet and it's a bit of an experiment online live. This is the Daffodil Delight, so Daffodil Delight. The markers are sold individually or in pairs in a color light and dark pair. Not all 50 colors available, but a good selection. This is the same color as what we've stamped. And I've grabbed that basically so that we could blend the color in. And ideally I'd like to use red, but I'm thinking it might be easier to blend in the orange. So the red is Poppy Parade and the orange is Pumpkin pumpkin Pie. Let's try the red. I'd probably go with the light. This is Poppy Parade Light. And my idea is that I could be completely wrong. And it looks like this is too dark to do. Not quite working as I thought it would. If I blend that in with the... Nope, this is too dark. Okay, let's take two. Put the blends to the side. What's so good is that every paper has two sides. We're going to use my other trick. I am going to grab... A sponge dobbler. This is how I store my sponges and sponge dobblers. I've got lovely lipstick berry burst, real red. So real red it is. The only reason why I don't like this method particularly is because you have to clean your stamps between every stamping, but that's okay. And grab my chamois. We're going to ink the stamp in our Daffodil Delight. I'm going to tap the real red and then add that to the base of my tulip. And then stamp. Pretty. See, it's going about inky. We're getting that really dark ink blotchiness again because the ink compared to that side because the ink is removing in. So I'm just going to do my little swipe across trick again. Give that a clean tap, tap, tap. Oops, I forgot to add the, well, we'll have some, some yellow and some red. I didn't dip the sponge dobbler in again this time because I wanted a lighter coverage. Could keep going without 
dipping it in. This is kind of the look I was going for with the blends, but that didn't work, so we're taking a different approach. There's always more than one way to do things, which is always lovely. Beautiful. You could also do the tips if you wanted. You might do that for the little tulip. Thank you, Kayla. Now with this one, it's probably uneven if I do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Could I use the other markers? I could probably use the other markers. I think it would work well better if I stamped in a darker color like um, Memento Black. And I'll try that out. But for this morning, we'll, we'll do this. I do like the blends and it will probably be better when stacked dark. A few more. And we'll need some leaves, won't we? You're still in... Kayla, have you moved? <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I'd love to still be in bed. Wouldn't that be? But you're working tonight, so you have a really good reason as to why you're in bed. So I can't be too jealous, because I don't think I'd cope working night shifts. There we go. We've got some lovely tulips. Way, close my inks and we need some green we need some leaves I'm going to do the same technique with the leaves this has three different leaves and the punch punches this one out which hasn't oh no not a sore throat good morning Tanya thanks for joining me And I don't throw my Whisper White scraps out because they come in handy. <coughs> Going to, maybe I should try to stamp multiple leaves at once. That would be the clever and efficient thing to do. Put one leaf like that. Nope. There are two. Oh no, hold on. One, two, and three. Yes. Woo. And if I grab. I know the block. If I grab this block. We can do all three leaves at once. Saves a bit of time. Now, what color? What color? What color? What color? Gonna, I love the granny apple green, so I'm going to go with that. And I really like combining it with Call Me Clover. These tulips look beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I'll put them on screen a little bit. And we're going to sponge dobbler into Call Me Clover. Ink in granny apple green. I'm going to move that ink. This ink pad isn't as juicy. I'm not getting that clear movement of ink, which is good to know. And I need my sponge dobbler. I have one for Call Me Clover. There it is. So I label all my sponge dobblers so I know which one will go. Okay. Now. Tap, 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 tap. And then don't forget to ink, ink, ink. Ink, 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 ink. Doesn't look like I've added any colour in, but I have. Oh, that sounds beautiful, Kayla. Can't wait to see that. You have to share that on your blog. Ta-da! Where's my... Now, the only thing you must remember when doing this technique is that you always need to clean your stamps in between each stamp 
otherwise you're going to get the darker ink call me clover into the lighter ink into the granny apple green and that's not something you want in something you never think to do is this double inking is it Tanya oh, good clean and place that very well let's try to stamp one more of the wavy leaf well you should give it a go it's quite fun I have to say love the way things look takes it just to that next level give that a good clean and now we're going to fussy cut because we do not have a punch for these elements and even if I did have the punch which isn't here with my R's granny apple green it's the Russian in me that can roll my R's very well where are my paper snips they're still in my on stage bag you love fussy cutty I know you do I'm not going to <laughs> Thanks for the laughs. I am here to entertain and to inspire. Hopefully to inspire more than entertain, but if you find me entertaining, I like that too. I'm trying to make sure I just move the paper instead of my scissors. And that's what makes fussy cutting a lot easier. You wondered where I got that from. Yes, I am Russian, third generation out of Russia, but still Russian, still speak it, teaching the kiddos, and also explains the name Tatyana, very, very Russian name. Oh, you haven't done it before, Vicky? It is. I love doing it. I just I get a bit lazy about it because I don't want to clean the stamp in between each stamp. If you're just doing one element, but it's really nice. Like I really like how the greens have blended quite well, and because these two colors are quite starkly different, the real red and the daffodil delight doesn't blend as well, but it's still a really nice look. No idea what I'm going to do with these with this card yet kind of fluking it as I always do oh no not always I usually have a plan my plan was so far just the dual tone look thanks Megan I don't know I feel like sometimes the world's anti-Russian at the moment but hey I'm, I'm Aussie my passport says so I was born in Sydney but very Russian. Don't cook Russian food though. It takes too much time to prep for. Don't like food prep. Not big on the cooking dinners lately and oh, the family likes to eat every night. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about cooking. What I should be talking about is the amazing sale that we're having today and tomorrow and What's tomorrow, Thursday and Friday? Three day sale, 15% off ink pads and cardstock in the neutrals and regals and in colors. It's a fabulous place to visit, Megan. Um, I've been once in 2003. My in-laws have literally just come back. And that was really exciting. I got to see all their photos. Well, not all. My mother-in-law took over 8,000 photos on her trip to Russia. I've seen about 4,000. I'm not going to use that yellow. I don't know if we need all of these. So I like to individually cut out each piece and I find it easier when they're all in the individual pieces of cardstock as opposed to 
all joined up. Um, yes, amazing sale, regals, neutrals, and in the colors, you can get 15% off ink pads and cardstock. This is a fabulous time to stock up on those. And then also, select eight selected bundles. We'll have an additional, because a bundle is 10% off the two items that coordinate. And I, from memory, I know that the Fraser Bird bundle is on that list to a wild rose. <laughs> I was going to say, Kayla, who's the famous Tatiana? I don't know. Who have you travelled with? <laughs> um, yes, so you normally the bundles are just 10% off the product individual product prices. And for the next three days on select bundles, you can save an additional 5%, so you're getting 15% off the individual price. Oh, that would be amazing to put the blends on sales, wouldn't it, Megan? Though, what am I talking about? I have them all. Shh, don't tell anyone. Good morning, Kathy. I am stamping with a on-stage goodie while I wait for my PPP, my product purchase premiere, the demonstrator who's who have attended on stage get to buy select products ahead of time. Some of us don't buy all of them. Um, some do, which is fun. You love the colours? Thank you, Kathy. So the tulips have been stamped in Daffodil Delight with Poppy, uh, not Poppy Red, Real Red uh, Sponge Doll Colours on. You're not watching the replay, Rose. You, Roz, you have joined me live. I am still very much live. Thanks for hopping on. It's a bit of a chilled session today. Fussy cutting away the tulips. And then the leaves, Kathy, are granny apple green and sponged on. One tips is call me clover. I think we'll do a field of poppies with this card. What do we think? We have enough poppies to justify that. Scotland and Ireland. Oh, yes, but there's no demonstrator <laughs> ships in Ireland, is there? Oh, they should do an incentive trip to them. 6.30 p.m. in Florida. I really do have an international viewership. What was it? Yesterday I had Corinne from Holland watching. Was it Holland? No, from Netherlands. I said I wasn't going to cut all of these, but I'm on a roll. <clears throat> it is a beautiful stamp set, Roz. Incentive trip, Kayla, you agree? How am I going for time, guys? How long have I been live? I'm kind of just chilling. I've enjoy I'm just enjoying crafting. Crafting for no reason. Well, there is a reason. There's a reason to share it with you. With you all lovely folk. Almost done. Now there is stems in the stamp set. <laughs> For those watching the replay, Megan's comment has just come up and she said that she's sending me all the fussy cutting. <laughs> Not that hard, Megan. You just, I don't know, don't rush it. Have a chit chat with someone while doing it and it'll go by it super quick. The biggest tip, which I've already said, is move the paper. Not, don't move the scissors around. And the other biggest tip is to cut them individually, like I just did beforehand so that you can hold each sheet individually. Uh, Kayla, you said Switzerland. Oh, exciting. Uh, Roz likes it. Oh, I've got, a, Tanya also likes fussy cutting. You know, she's um, closer in Australia. 
postage will be less. You do it in front of the TV. So yeah, that's the treat. Just find something to distract yourself with and, and then sit and fussy cut. Um, I might go with a smaller. So I have pre-cut some of my white Whisper White card fronts and I label which size they are. This one's the 90 by 100 and 33.5 millimeter smaller than I usually do and I'm going to double mount or mount this one on some real red oh no scissors well I can understand that Kayla would be a good use of time but you can take your coloring to work Perfect. Okay, I'm going to do this. Well, I said that was 133. Still getting used to the new trim. I do love it. Let's see. Your son likes you to watch shows with him. Haha, <laughs> good time to fussy cut. Yeah, I'm sure my kids would love me to sit and watch Pokemon with them. Problem is, I like to stand while crafting. Yep, like you did to New Zealand. Take all your blends. I'm just trying to do the maths here. I'm going to do it three millimeters smaller. This is how I work out my card fronts. I go, this is the size, and then I want three millimeters smaller. So 90 minus three. As so. I'm used to cutting from the bottom edge on my old trimmer, but the measurements on the bottom don't go all the way here. Oops. I need to go bigger, not smaller. <laughs> this is why they say measure twice, cut once. I've cut mine three millimeters smaller, uh, but I needed to cut it three millimeters bigger. Take two, six. Good thing I have more cardstock and I can use the other piece easily. That's not to worry. I like it to be very accurate. Okay. There. Da, 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 da. That's what I wanted. I wanted the red border. <laughs> Love it, Roz. Your 25 year old has different tastes from you. Shocking, isn't it? And I need a daffodil delight. Card front. Look, I have one pre-folded and it looks like it has ink on it. Like that ink was there when I pulled it out. That's okay. Where's my bone? This is the problem when you don't unpack them on stage. All your tools aren't sitting in the right place. Yes, restock on cardstock today. Oh, I was going to neutrals. Yes, I just stocked up on the neutrals too. I'm bummed about that. It's okay. So that's I'm I'm going to explain my cardstock choices here. It's got ink everywhere. How did I get ink on that? I've chosen the Daffodil Delight, the same color we stamped the daffodils. And I've chosen the real red. So I'm mimicking the colors from the daffodil. Daff Why am I calling them daffodils? The tulips. And I'm going to find my glue. I'm going to glue the Whisper White to the real red. Yeah, I'm getting ink on that too. It's okay, we're covering that up. Ta-da! Our oh, pretty peacocks on sale. How many packets are you buying, Kayla? I'm not saying that to be facetious or funny. I just I know you. You'll go through a lot of it. And I think what we're going to do for kicks is I'm going to find, aha, uh -huh, we're going to add some clouds. We're going to add some 
clouds. No, Scot I don't think, no, we're not open in um, Scotland or Ireland. Kayla, there's no demos there. I'm going to grab, this is my favourite. We get, so this is shimmery white embossing paste. This is a mask and you get a set of three, hmm, what do you call them? Palette knives. And this is my favourite. I like the length of it. I probably should have done that bef this before gluing the white down, but it's okay. The paste does dry fairly quickly. Just adding it on the clouds that aren't quite cutting off at the top. One more. Oh, are they? Hello, Jenny. Thank you for joining me. I didn't think we did. Why did I think that? Because we don't talk about... Oh, because it's mentioned as the UK, not... Dung, da -da, head not working. How pretty is that? That is pretty. But not in Southern Ireland. How interesting. Okay. That should go in some water, so I'm just going to go put that into the sink. <coughs> and I am back. And that's going to go right there. And we're going to do some floral arranging now. part of the UK I never thought about it Jenny I for some reason just I don't know just didn't think about that just kind of went la di da di da UK must be England but no of course the UK is more than just England there's many current trees part of the wonderful UK it's a place to visit for me I haven't been there yet to do something like this. Now I'm going to show you a neat little trick. So I'm doing all my arranging right now and I'll put and I know when you arrange and you think oh really like this and then you move them to glue it all down and then it's moved and it's not the same. I've got an awesome awesome trick that avoids that issue. Let's see if I could add some of these leaves. <laughs> oh, Kayla, you're a crack up. Any Irish demos out there so that Kayla can talk to you? <laughs> you should just go on the um, demonstrator search, Kayla. Find a postcode in Ireland and just find yourself a demo there. Ooh. And one more leaf. Ooh. Gonna go there. I will trim the leaves off later. Basically, just arrange as you want it. Broadcast interrupted. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> no, it was not by accent, by country. It was my suggestion, not accent. Oh, okay, we're going to do this in two parts. Am I still live? My phone says I'm still live. Nope. There, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I have no idea. I'm using my data, not the Wi Fi. Ah, the little leprechaun can do the accent. That sounds very, um, I'm not being, I'm reading out what Kayla has just said. It's not me. Blame my audience. <laughs> okay, this is getting very fiddly. 
and I'm really taking my time today for some reason. I'm just enjoying everyone's company, that's what it is. Okay, here is my neat trick, which I shall show you. Ugh. Start again. Going to put that there. Keeps freezing. Uh, I don't know. We supposedly have the big fancy pants fast internet, but it doesn't always work. And I'm using my data at the moment, and that doesn't seem to be working. I just I can't win. Okay, I've re I've arranged that layer as I would like it. And here I have is a piece of, what's it called, press and seal. Fortunately, we can't get it in Australia, but, oh, you can at Costco. And I'm going to use that to pick up the arrangement as it is. Add the glue. I refuse to connect to NBN. Well, I didn't really have a choice, Megan. When we moved here, it was, this is what you have. The end. You love my little bunch of tulips. Thank you, Kayla. I do too. So I've used the press and seal to keep the arrangement as it was. Added the glue. And now I'm going to peel it off. Yes, the press and seal adventure. For those who do not know, Kayla and I, when we were in New Zealand, we did travel down to uh, Hobbiton. And then on our way back, because we had a car hire and time before it had to be returned, we had to go visit Woolworths, which is the Australian equivalent. Um, what's it called again in New Zealand? Um, it's not called Woolworths. It's called... Somebody help me out. Well, anyway, the supermarket in... New Zealand, which has the same logo as Woolworths here in Australia, has press and seal. Countdown, that's the one, Kayla, thank you. And so we had to go to two different countdowns that day, because the first one we stopped in didn't have any. But I got press and seal. I wish I actually bought more, but I have to say, no, it's not Safeway, Kathy, it's Countdown. I have to say though, my godmother has a Costco membership, so she's bought me another three rolls of it. Still sealed, and it's in larger quantity than the one we got in New Zealand. And I've been using this single piece for a while, so I think I'm set for some press and seal. Oh, Megan has a spare box. I actually have two spare boxes, if anyone. Let me know if you need it. I'm happy to send it your way. Because I don't think I'm ever going to get through all of that. <coughs> but you took home press and seal, didn't you, Kayla? Yeah. So I love this press and seal trick of arrangements. That way you don't have to try to remember which layer to glue down and what not. And our clouds are all dry and that one didn't get any glue because it was sitting on top of that leaf. And one final step. Now I'm going to trim the leaves off the bottom here. Where do those paper snips go? There they are. It is a really neat trick. I can't take credit for it, though. I did see it on Jennifer Maguire's blog. Um, but I do love it. Makes arrangements a lot easier. And we're going to put this up on dimensionals. Because I think it'd be very neat. Seeing if I have any edge pieces. Dimensionals, no. Used up my edges. Going to seems a little excessive, but I feel like this card really needs that. Peeled off the edges off my dimensionals. And I'm just going to put that in as. 
this. So it's not quite, it's a little too wide. So it needs to be cut down a bit. But because I'm mounting the whole piece, I don't want it to flop. This is much easier than putting individual dimensionals down. Peel all those backings off. We'll add a few more in the middle just to make sure it's nice and stable. I think we'll stick to one card today. There we go. And I do want to put a sentiment on there. And I also need to decorate the inside of the card and the envelope. Ribbon. I was going to put some twine on. Bummer. It's all good. They should sell sheets. Of that is true, Megan. They should. They don't, though. Adding a tulip to. Where's that? Always forget to stamp the bits as I'm stamping the main. That's okay. Real red on the bottom and as you noticed I didn't even ink the real red it there's enough there to do because I keep keep the sponge dobbler and I think we'll go in the corner of the envelope as so Whew, got the right corner and which leaf this one Going to do the leaf as well. Call me Clover. Pretty clean ink. Sponge stamp. Clean ink sponge stamp oh. clean ink oh. pick up sponge sponge and stamp pretty I will clean those afterwards put that in and the sentiment. Need a sentiment as the stamp case cover. Get well soon. Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's have, I need more birthday cards in my stash. Happy birthday. I'll just grab another block. That would be the sensible thing to do. Happy birthday. And I have this piece of... You've sold me on... I've sold you. Not you've sold me. <laughs> no, I haven't sold me on the tulips. You've sold me on the tulips. Okay. Tanya, you're getting the tulips. Or you could win them in my team. So if you would like to win this tulip stamp set, I have a little challenge coming up for my team. We're going to do a scavenger hunt in the new catalogs and the winner of that scavenger hunt will get the tulips. <laughs> Kayla, your birthday's coming up, is it? Not hinting at all, are you? <laughs> No, not hinting. Now, I have a dislike for discoloration on my, um, what do you call it, photopolymer. And so I'm going to, found that the stamping cleaning pad, 
Oh, yours was five days ago, Megan, was it? Oh, happy, happy birthday. Shall I send this to you? <laughs> so there we go. You can see that that stamp was quite pink from the red ink, just from the one use, and now it's not. And I'm just thinking, how is this best going to be placed? Happy birthday. I think it does look good up there in the clouds. Happy belated birthday, yes. Same to, same from me, Megan. Happy belated birthday. I should have used the trimmer. That's not quite even. I need the guillotine. That's what I need. The mini trimmer which I am not talking about right now. But stay tuned. So yes, this is the card. It's now a birthday card using the brand new Timeless Tulips and a fun sponge dobbling technique to get dual tone. So there we have it. Say, can I do that? That'll work. Timeless tulips. If you liked what you saw, you can purchase online, shop online, 24-7 at bit.ly forward slash shop with Tatiana. And the capitals on the S, the W, and the T do matter. My pleasure, Megan. And if you use the host code, November 2019, host code 3HHXFZJU, you get a free gift. Free gift from me for shopping with me we also I not we I also have a customer loyalty program for every $50 you spend you get a sticker and collect 10 stickers and get a free gift value to $50 from me as a thank you for being shopping with me and supporting my adventure and my business and don't forget that there is the fantastic sale the online extravaganza Extravaganza on now. Not dyslectic at all. <coughs> Have a fabulous Wednesday or Tuesday night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.